In this top 10 video, we're gonna talk about the top 10 best effects inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So there's a lot of effects in Adobe Premiere ranging from you know, video to audio effects. So I decided to make this top 10 list to help you decide what are the top 10 effects inside Adobe Premiere. And of course, this is my opinion. So my top 10 effects might not be your favorite top 10 effects, but this is a good starting ground if you're new to Premiere and want to get insight on maybe some of the top effects. So let's go ahead and jump into our countdown and let's get started on the top 10 effects inside of Premiere. Premiere. All right, so for the first effect on our list, we have the effect called Offset. And this effect is under the Distort Video Effects folder, and we can bring this into, say, an adjustment layer. And what we can do is add a keyframe for Shift Center 2 right here, and then we can move forward maybe past a second clip, so you can create a nice transition between two clips here. And simply, we can just drag either the X or Y axis here and close this up. And simply now, this offset effect has allowed us to create a very smooth transition between two clips. And this also can be used for creating a quick promo. So if you want to loop the background underneath like a title or something, this effect is great just to keep the video image rolling. So the next effect on our list is underneath the keying menu and it's called Ultra Key. And Ultra Key is a great green screen you know, effect. So if you're anytime you work on green screen, you can easily punch out green and you have a lot of different controls that you would have say to clean up spill suppression or to tighten up the edges and you're really able to fine-tune the keying effect for a green screen so if you're green screen or anything ultra key is your way to go and next up is underneath the blur and sharpen menu and it's called gaussian blur and the gaussian blur effect allows you to just quickly blur objects out and this effect works great for quickly blurring things out especially for you know green screen type backgrounds or uh, if you're putting titles on a background and the background's too, you know, contrasty or whatnot, adding a quick Gaussian blur and repeating edge pixels will allow you to just quickly add a nice professional blur to the background. And on the contrary, there's another effect I enjoy using called the camera blur. And I like using this on actual footage when I'm trying to blur out specific objects. So for example, I'll apply the blur effect here and we'll just hide the effect real quick. And I'll grab the pen tool and I will maybe mask around my talent, turn our effect back on, invert the mask, and now I can lower the percent down maybe to like 5%. And this gives it a nice blur on actual footage because it emulates the out of focusness of an actual camera. So you get a little bit more bokeh and it gives it kind of more of an aspect ratio type blur for your video. So, and definitely take a look at that if you're looking to apply a blur already on your single video and of course make sure to increase the mask feather if you use the pen tool and for the sixth effect on our list is an audio effect and it's called the noise and the noise allows you to remove any like background humming noise from your audio clip so for example if i preview this real fast i don't actually think you're gonna hear this on youtube I don't know. but there was a little bit of a hum in there and with the denoise effect it helps reduce it just by itself and then of course you have some individual parameters here so we can open this up and we can select one of the presets you know maybe light noise reduction is a good one and you can change the amount and then I don't know. it sounds pretty good to me so so if you're looking to remove any like background humming noise from your audio the noise effect is a great start and before we move on to the second half of our list, I want to give a huge shout out to the best Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects templates. So whether you use Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects for video editing, motion graphics, or if you're just a content creator, creating work can take a very long time and can be very repetitive. That's why I use templates for Adobe Premiere and After Effects. And these templates range from the very best video transitions for Premiere and After Effects. There's over 1,000 amazing video transitions just in this one pack. And it can help bring tremendous quality and value to your video. Video, along with tons of other amazing templates for After Effects. So if you're not so handy in After Effects or if you're looking to save time. So if you want to check out some of the very best templates for Premiere Pro and After Effects, I will drop a link in the description to my favorite templates that I use constantly, which helps me produce amazing work. So now I have more time to watch Fortnite videos and floss my dog's teeth. So if you want to check out some of the best After Effects in Adobe Premiere Pro templates, I will drop that link in the video description. It's another audio effect and this time it's called Low Pass. And what low pass does, it distorts the audio so you can make it sound like that your audio is coming from further away in the background, or maybe you're doing like a disoriented hearing effect. The low pass effect is the way to go. Would you like to start things off? And you can easily adjust the hertz to make a difference in the sound. And moving along, we have the crop effect. And what the crop effect is specifically good for is creating a split screen effect. So for example, if I take this shot, 
and move it over so I can frame this on the left side. You can see that we still have the video clip overlapping on the right side. So if I take this as a duplicate and flip it and I move this shot over to the right, and as you can see that these two clips are overlapping each other. And with the crop effect apply, I can easily take one of these four parameters here and crop this into the halfway point so I can create a nice split screen effect. So the crop effect is great when you're doing a split screen or if you really just need to get rid of something, but the crop effect is definitely something that you will probably use in your time using Premiere. All right, so getting closer to the end here, the next effect we have is Unsharp Mask underneath Blur and Sharpening. And this effect is great if you have like a soft focus shot the unsharpened mask will allow you to quickly just add a very nice touch of sharpness. So you're not going to be able to see this specifically on YouTube, but you know, just you know, anytime you have a soft, out of focus shot, you know, you can easily apply the unsharpened mask, and it will help you bring some of that you know detail in there. It won't bring your detail back, but it'll make the shot just seem a little bit more crisp around the edges. So anytime you're working with those soft shots, unsharp mask is the way to go. All right, we're almost done, and our second effect is underneath the color correction menu, and the only color correction effect I'm going to have on this list which is Lumetri Color. Now, Lumetri Color is the premier color correction effect in Adobe Premiere. See what I did there? But essentially, you have all these central menus in the effects controls that allow you to quickly color correct your shot and to bring detail into it. However, in Adobe Premiere, it's more than just an effect. You have your own dedicated menu, so you click on the color tab here at the top, and you're gonna be able to control this here on the right. And there's also another menu called Lumetri Scopes that allows you to change up the waveform and actually see you know what you're color correcting so you can change it to the vector scope you can add a histogram so it's really up to you what scope you want to use if you're into that type of detail which i definitely am however you have all the full control over how to use this effect so you can easily you know do a three-point color correction you can easily use the hsl secondary select specific you know skin tones or you know specific you know pixels in your frame and color correct them manually it's completely up to you how you want to use that so there's a lot of options on how to use this effect and i would highly suggest checking out a full tutorial on how to use lumetri color if you're into the color correcting inside of adobe premiere all right so for our last and final effect should be obvious at this point if you use adobe premiere a lot and that effect is going to be warp stabilizers. So for example, we kind of have this nice slight camera shake here on this shot. And with warp stabilizer applied, it will automatically analyze the shot and do its best to try to stabilize it. Now it doesn't work perfectly for every shot. Sometimes you'll have a warped background and sometimes it'll look great. So you got to use this effect strategically. And there's a lot of other menus in here that we'll use to kind of help smooth this shot out. So warp stabilizer applied, it helps smooth out the shot and we have no more of that original camera shake. <clears throat> now this effect can warp your footage a little bit depending on how much shakiness you're dealing with here. So if you need to fix anything, you can definitely take a look at some of the different methods here. Uh, but what I like to do is go into the advanced details here and go to maybe like crop less and kind of lower that down by a little bit and also reduce the smoothness to maybe like 25% or under. This way, you know, help remove any you know warping that you may get with Warp Stabilizer. So that wraps up our top 10 list. If you're interested in learning about the top 20 effects inside of After Effects, I'll drop that video link in the description so you can check out those effects as well. And also remember to be sure to check out our link in the description, which will take you over to Video Hive, where you can take a look at some of the best templates for Adobe Premiere and After Effects. So hope you found this video helpful. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.